Yo, what it do, son? Yo, 2 Timothy 2 and 22 tells us to run from anything that stimulates youthful lust, but instead pursue righteous living, faithfulness, love, peace, and enjoy the companionship of those that call upon the Lord with pure hearts. The Bible says run, run from anything. So I want to encourage you today to, man, if you're a child of God, man, and you walk in this walk with God, I want to encourage you, man, practice maintaining your purity. I know that's easier said than done, but you can talk to God about it. If any of you are having problems maintaining your purity, say you're having a hard time, even you're dating somebody and you feel tempted, that you can always bring these conversations to God and God will very much listen to you and he will lead you out of this situation of the temptations that you're feeling. But you have to talk to God and you have to bring these things to his attention. God already knows it, but he's waiting for you to bring these things to his attention. I want to encourage you today to know that you can do this. I know there's some people where they feel like they can't get over that thing they can't do it but i'm telling you that you can very much do it god has empowered you he's given everything that you needed to run from these things people will tempt you in this world you will be very much tempted the devil will tempt you the devil will tempt you but you can run from these things and you can pursue god i need you to think about this before you ever get into a situation when you feel like you want to do something that your body is the temple of god and your body is the dwelling place in the living place of god so i want you to understand something then do you really want to taint your body with something like that, man? So I want you to run from these things and pursue God, even if it's a hard thing to do. Even if you're struggling, bring it to God's attention. If you bring it to God's intention, God will lead you out of that situation. There are sometimes God may lead you away from a person that's been tempting you. God can lead you out of the situation, but you got to bring it to God's attention. Some of you are dealing with these temptations and you don't have to. God tells you to run from these things, to run from these things. If you have friends that are tempting you, if you have friends, get rid of them. Get rid of them. If you got people in your life that's tempting you to do stuff like that, to get rid of them. Move them out your life. You don't need that because you're trying to walk this life of purity. You're trying to walk this life right, man. Hey, man, y'all got to focus on maintaining your purity, man. I know it seems like a difficult task. I know some may disagree regard what I say right now, but I'm telling you what's in the word of God. I don't care what nobody else say. I don't care what your friends say. I'm telling you what's in the word. I'm telling you what's the truth. The Bible say run from it and it's to set parameters and it's to protect you. Some of you can avoid getting yourselves hurt. It's to set parameters. It's to protect us. It's to protect us. That's why God says, wait, it's to protect us and to set parameters. It's not to harm us. Sex is meant to be an amazing thing within the confines of marriage. That's why it says within the confines of marriage, it's meant to set parameters for us. It's meant to protect us. It's not meant to harm us. God telling us the wait is not him trying to stop us from doing it. No, he just wants you to wait till marriage. And I hope this encourages you, man, to run from these things because you cannot maintain your purity off of willpower alone. You, In order to maintain your purity, you have to. To have a relationship with God. Because this is something you cannot do on your own. Maintaining your purity is an act that you can only do by the power of the Holy Spirit. Resisting your flesh is something that you can only do by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is not something you can do off of physical willpower. And I'm, I want to encourage you today to run through from these things, to run from pornography, to run from masturbation, to run from all of these things. And if you're dealing with these things, bring them to God's attention. He will lead you out of the situation. You don't have to sit there and deal with it. No, God can lead you out of the situation. Just trust him. Bring it to his attention. God, I got this addiction. I I, I, I mean, bring it to his attention. God will lead you out because God doesn't want you to do it in the first place. He says, wait till marriage. So God doesn't want you to do it. And he's, when you're bringing there's a text telling you, they tell him that you have this problem. He'll lead you out. I'm telling you what the word of God say. The guys, the word of God say run from it. It says run. It don't say walk away. It says literally to run from anything that stimulates these feelings. If it's outside the confines of marriage, then it is sin against God. And not only is it sin against God, it is sin against your own body. The Bible says no other sin clearly affects the body as this one. Your body is the living place and it is the dwelling place of God. And God paid a high price for you. So you need to act like you have value. You need to act like God paid that price for you. You can't be laying down with everybody.
You can't be laying down with everybody. If that's not your wife or your husband, you shouldn't be doing it. God paid too high of a price for you to lower your standards like that. To allow your body just to be dirtied up by this world. God paid too high of a price for you. God says, this is my dwelling place and I will not dwell in an unclean home. I need you to run from anything that stimulates you for lust. If you with somebody, they trying to encourage you to do it. Run. You better run out the door. Run the other way. Run the other way. It might get tempted. I ain't going to lie. Run the other way. Go the opposite direction. If you with a woman, you, you with a man, they tempt you. Run. That ain't the person for you. Run. And I'm encouraging you today, man. Run from anything that stimulates, stimulates youthful lust, man. Pursue God. He'll lead you away from it. This is not something you can do. Once again, this is not something you can do off of pure will power alone. Even if you are dating somebody that you are attracted to, you are both men and women of God. Maintaining your purity requires constant prayer. You cannot and I'm repeating this because I know some people may try to resist their flesh off of your own willpower. But you cannot. You cannot resist your flesh on your own willpower. You can only do this through the power of the Holy Spirit. You can only even maintain your purity till marriage through the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the closer you get to God, you'll desire the things that he wants for your life. And if he wants you to wait till marriage, you desire this for yourself as well. This is why I say this is only something you can do by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I hope this encourages you, man. I hope this blesses you, man. Hey, man, y'all maintain y'all purity, man. I hope y'all have a blessed and a wonderful day, man. Be blessed in Jesus' name. I love you.